Hey guys. <clears throat> oh shit. I wanna take my nosy ass outside and see who gets shot at, but bitch, she won't be doing it today. Okay, I clenched my hand. Uh, warmer. Uh, as tight as I could and sat up against a tree. I was having the struggle of my life to stay awake. I know if I fell asleep now, I wouldn't wake up again. The whole time I kept thinking of... Thinking of your dad. I knew I had to stay awake. I had to live. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving my dad. He couldn't lose me too. I had to fight for him. And for myself. There are so many people I wish uh, to, I'd get a chance to talk to just one more time. And as I sat there feeling the tears that were streaming down my face instantly freeze, I heard something in the distance, something that would jumpstart my body like you would jumpstart a car. Mia? Could it really be or was I starting to hear things? Mia, can you hear me? The voice is getting closer. I didn't have much, any, if any, sound left in me. But I had to give it a try. I'm here. <laughs> a very low and raspy yell came out of me, but it was still loud enough for it to echo just a bit. Then I saw him. He was running towards me. Was I dreaming? Was I already dead? Could it really be? Daryl. Oh, I cried out as I started to limply running, <laughs> limpingly running, <laughs> run towards him. Hell <laughs> no, nah, limpingly run. Hell no. Nah. Um, I wanted to throw myself in his arm. Oh shit. I like the special scene, bitch. There we go. And so I did. I took what was left of my strength and jumped into his arms. I didn't care about anything else but the fact that there was hope now. I wasn't alone anymore. They're looking real cute in this drawn picture and her head is on fucking Yes, for the red hair, baby. Mia, I can't believe it. Oh, Mia. He sighed in relief as he hugged me tightly. At this moment, we... Uh, we threw every prejudice that we had for each other away. Uh, we were completely ourselves, and I had never been happier to see anyone <laughs> as I was seeing Daryl again. And I could feel he was just as relieved to see me as I was to see him. His hug was genuine, loving, and it felt like he was never going to let me go again. And I didn't want him to. Oh. It's an area. Oh, Mia. Don't cry, sugar. Aww. The tears were streaming down my face. They were the accumulation of fear, sadness, and regret that was about to eat up my dying body. Hell no. Crying had never felt this good before. Hugging <laughs> had never felt this good either. I never in my life thought I'd be this happy to see Daryl again, but I was. Fearing his death made me realize how much he had started to mean to me, how much I cared. And feeling him holding me in that moment made me realize that he cared about me too. And it was deeper than a usual Playboy way. This was a real Daryl hugging me, the real me, yeah. Huh? Just us lost together in the code and. A merciless wind, wilder, wilderness, <laughs> wilderness, <laughs> watched by wolves and living on borrowed time. Jesus fucking Christ, come on, get the talking, y'all. Shit, <laughs> it was like my body knew I was safe and safer now. It instantly shut down. I feel myself uh, grow weaker in his arms. Everything went black. I got you. I got you. We found them. You ain't find shit. We found them. We're here. Wait, they're here. What, you, what the fuck you hopping and pumping folks like?
but as I tried to move, my whole body ached. Painfully reminded me that the uh, what had just happened wasn't just a nightmare. Ky Kylie, oh look at it, take it easy, Mia. Are you warm enough? Uh, where's Daryl? Where's Where's Daryl? We can talk later. We already booked another night here, so we won't have. Oh, so we won't be going home in the morning. You rest now. Kylie, I need to know where he is. He's he's at the hospital. What? <laughs> he he carried you quite a while and when they found you his hands were severely frostbitten. They said they found a hand warmer in your pocket. Daryl didn't have one. Oh, what have I done? Oh, Nia, the doctor specifically told me not to let you get out of the bed until morning. Kylie, please, I need to see him. He he saved my life. I was in I endangered his. You will get to see him in the morning. He's probably resting, and you should too. I'm not getting past you, am I? Nope. But I promise we'll go in the morning. Okay. Okay then. Did the doctor say how bad it was? They said he probably recovered completely, but it'll take uh, about three weeks did he ever find shelter for, for the storm Mia rest you'll get answers to all of your questions tomorrow and he'll answer them himself it's 4 a.m get some sleep I'll be right next door okay thank you for looking after me I'm sorry for everything don't be no one blames you you're just happy you're both we're just happy you're both all right sleep tight Mia If you previously made the right choice, you would not have the opportunity. And I watch it's gonna say I did. Let's find out. Unfortunately, right. Mm -hmm. You you don't ever make that, bitch. Fuck out of here. Anyway, when you were dying out in the woods, you chose. Wait, you chose to think of someone else than Daryl. Welp, bitch. Who cares? Life didn't revolve around him. Shit. The next morning, I was beyond ready to see Daryl. I hope he's okay. I better get dressed so I can go find out. You know, something warming, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I just want to see all the options. We get too much goddamn boob out. Let's go with the boob out. Wear black. Keep my heat. This will do for now. I thought she hurt. I thought her goddamn leg was broke or sprained or some shit. After an hour cab drive, we arrived at the hospital. I wanted to talk to him alone. I needed to talk to thank him. His hands looked like something out of a sci-fi movie. <laughs> they were incredibly swollen and red. There's some kind of cloth wrapped around most of them. Mia, oh shit, you done hopped your ass up. Whoa, easy, don't get up. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> God, this is all my fault you're in here. Hey, you can't blame yourself for what happened. I don't. You warned me about the weather, the wolves, my uh, leaving the trail. This is my fault, Daryl. I know it is. Fine, maybe it is your fault, but we made it. and 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 I'm glad it happened glad it brought us closer together wasn't that the whole point of this trip i guess but it shouldn't have been this dangerous it doesn't matter anyway we can't change it but i'm glad you're okay god i'm so sorry about your hands don't be it'll give them uh it'll give me a few paid weeks off from work it's not too bad i guess there's something well, I guess that's something. So, so I never thought I would say this, but thank you for saving my life, Daryl. You could have left me there and saved yourself, spared, spared your hands. <laughs> I'd never leave you, Mia. I'll always protect you. I I mean, you're welcome. You're pretty heavy. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll take that. I guess I deserve that one. Do you find shelter? Yeah, I found, I found a fallen tree and took shelter under its roots. It was like a roof. And you know what? I even shared it with a fox. You did? 
I'm not even kidding. It had dug a grave, a cave. <laughs> Bruh, it dug a cave next to me and was closely watching me all the time. It was really cute. All curled up in a ball and white as snow. You would have loved it. That's amazing. I would have. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Do you think you'll be ready to go home tonight? Yeah, I'll be fine. Good. I'm glad. You guys, I think I'm catching a fucking cold. Um, the night, that night the lights bid us farewell. It had been quite an adventure, but honestly, I was happy to be going home again. Besides what happened to Daryl and I, the only thing that bo bothered me was the fact that I didn't get to get in much time with Kylie. Not actually. <sighs> I had to figure out how to make up for that somehow. The thought of Daryl staying home the next couple of weeks with Cassie in the house bothered me too. Ugh. I could comfort myself with the thought of how he helped me out there in the wilderness. Um, she's never had him hold her like that. At least I hope not. Mm -hmm. There was a connection between us right there. In fact, we had quite a few moments of those. Something had changed with us. I could feel it. You guys, I want a cookie. I think I'm going to go get some cookies. Pew. <laughs> it's good to be home. I guess I better call my dad and Kelly and let them know I'm okay. Update them on the whole snowstorm incident. And so I did. They both didn't take it well, obviously, but I ensured them everything was fine now. My dad wanted me to quit right until I told him that Daryl saved my life and I was the one who got us in all, tr all trouble. He was obviously very disappointed. Kelly was kind of excited about the thought of Daryl and I being lost together. She especially loved the he saved me part. <laughs> but when I told her what happened to his hands, and that he won't come to school for the next couple of weeks. She immediately blamed me for robbing her of his beauty. <laughs> Kelly's a, Kelly is a fucking character, you guys. Damn it. As I walked into the kitchen, Daryl was trying to prepare himself some food, obviously struggling. Here, let me. Hey, you won't go or not? Oh, okay, because I was about to, I was really about to get to going. Mia, you don't have to. I know, but I want to. It's no big deal. I do this for Kylie all the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Our eyes met and locked. It made my lips and cheeks and neck tingle. <laughs> um... I quickly continued to prepare his sandwich, but I could feel him still looking at me, smiling. Yet, this time I didn't feel smug or self-satisfied. Um, it felt vulnerable, like he was thankful. Uh, I smiled to myself. He chuckled and looked down into the ground as he saw me noticing him staring at me. This moment was different. Every time we share a moment like this, it changes just a bit. Clearly. I would have stayed in this moment for a lot longer if it wasn't for the, uh, if it wasn't because of the doorbell ringing. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm about to fucking, like my throat is about to fucking fall out. <laughs> what the? Hello, Daryl. What are you doing here? Get out. Who is she, Daryl? My ex. Get out, Elena. You're not welcome here. Wait, Daryl, please. Don't send me away. I'm, say, pregnant. i slap you. You're what? I'm pregnant. Slap the bitch. <laughs> You're what? Did she just say pregnant? 
Right. I knew that bitch was going to stay pregnant. That's how it always go that way. God damn. These bitches need to learn how to fucking use condoms. Shit. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. I am going to be posting this. And then after this, like, I might post later on today. I don't know. Depends on how my son acts. So, I might be posting later on tonight. 